Hi, dear fellows. This is Fu from Fox Tech, and uh, today, today I'm very glad to bring you the new FPV toy. And what's in my hand is the Fox Tech 3D FPV goggles. And uh, you can see it is uh, 5 pin AG 3D FPV goggles, which can give you a real feeling about the 3D FPV. And uh, before we all use the 2D FPV, uh, meaning you see the image. A same image from the two monitors right here, although the two monitors but the same image, so they get a 2D feeling. But imagine you fly a small quadcopter like this, uh, which can really fast and low to the ground. Uh, you may to get yourself some more realistic feeling about flying. So that's why you need 3D. It can give you a better understanding about how far the object is from you. Okay, to cooperate with these goggles, we also make a special transmitter to antennas, as you see. And also, this is a 3D FPV camera. Okay, so uh, we took a long time for designing this, and uh, so we make the view angle uh, so comfortable for 3D flying. And also, the transmitter contains two transmitter modules inside, which can transmit four different 3D wireless videos to your goggles. And because we have 32 channels in 5.8G band, so we actually made two combinations groups for you to fly the 3D FPV. So in theory, there are four people can fly 3D FPV at the same field. So let me talk more about this new generation of PPV goggles. Okay, this is not only a 3D. 3D is a main feature, but it's not enough. And also, I can tell you this is like a milestone of IPV equipment. Because uh, first, let's see, we made a new front camera. And with the front camera, uh, while you, uh, when you wire this on, uh, you need to check outside. Uh, because our lights are blocked by this shade. And so you need a front camera. Pressing this button, once you can switch the view from the inner to outside. So you can see if anyone trying to steal your equipment. So the improved front camera is not only more clear, but also has a very comfortable view angle, just like we see from our bare eyes. OK, another good. A uh, good feeling, and also another good point about this FPV goggles is we actually add a recorder inside. This is uh, new because uh, imagine uh, at the beginning when we fly FPV, we need FPV goggles, a receiver, a ground recording equipment, something like this big. So all together, a lot other things, batteries, something. And uh, now they are all integrated into this single small IPV goggles. So uh, when you fly a uh, IPV, uh, you want to record the whole video by this video just by pressing this button. And uh, the whole video received by the two antennas will be recorded into a one small micro SD card right here. So. This gives you very convenient. So uh, because uh, although we can take HD video on board, but also we also need maybe uh, OSD data uh, recorded. So you don't need an extra recorder anymore. OK, so another good point about this IPV goggles, I want to say is the new de newly designed six axis gyro inside, which can give you a perfect feeling about head track. Uh, imagine you wear this on and you move your head, a pan tilt with a camera will move accordingly with your movement. This is uh, really very nice, especially when you fly alone. It can give you a better view. You can see everywhere almost. And also, it's very good for air combat and also other uh, applications. So I truly love this uh, newly designed head track. Uh, also. You can see on the bottom of this, there are many ports. And here is the earphone out, and also the AV out. AV in, while you don't use the SPV goggles, you can also use the watch movie. Uh, here is the two a, a plastic things for you to adjust the 
i's distance. And here is uh, also most important for all is uh, data and also power, power port for you to power it on and also to uh, send the, the head track data to your radio. Although uh, in that way you can control the head pan tilt on the plane. Okay, so this is a basic introduction about IPv goggles, second generation 3D IPv goggles from Foxtech. And later I will introduce you about the, uh, how to use the head track. Still, here comes some more demonstration about the new 3D IPv goggles. And today I'm going to show you how to use the IPv goggles 3D to control your pan tilt with the camera on your plane. So here you can see, here's the lipo battery. I use it as a platform to simulate the thing you put on your plane. Here is the pan tilt with the solo and here is the camera right here. And later you don't if you want to put the HD camera, just a bit. You can put on HD camera like a for example, uh, a Horizon HD V4, Horizon V4, V3 V3 maybe. And also, if you want to put this 3D camera on it, it should be no problem because this camera is so light. Okay. Uh, you can also make your own pan tilt with a better servo, of course. Uh, here, uh, you can see this uh, servo. These uh, servos are connected to the channel 5 and channel 6 on this receiver. It's a football receiver. And also, I, ch I, I, I set the channel 5 and the channel 6 in the trainer menu on this, on this radio uh, to functioning. So it will listen to the uh, outside the signal for the head track signal. Okay, so I also set the channel 5 and the channel 6 into this uh, goggles uh, for pan tilt control. Uh, by pressing this track button, you can enter this uh, menu inside. You can see from the inside it's the menu list and you can set everything like a brightness, contrast, and also, of course, the head track setting. So uh, after everything is done, I hold this switch, this is a trainer switch, now uh, your pan tilt will listen to the signal from this head, from this head track on this FPV goggles. Now this is uh, the time you decide where you are going to look at on your plane, because with this rate, with these goggles, your view angle is greatly expanded from a fixed view to like I think it's at least 180 degrees. And also, uh, what I want to mention, the important thing about this uh, goggle, because we use the newly designed six-axis gyro, so the drift problem is the minimum. So I'm going to move this goggles really fast, up and down, left and right. So you can see why I stop the servo is still at the middle. The drift is the minimum. And also, there's a setting in the manual in this IPv goggles. Uh, it's a movement angle. It's uh, either 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Uh, I prefer 90 degrees because I can look from this angle to this angle. But my neck has limitation, has angle limitation, you know. I can't view directly back, but I can I can change my body's heading. So uh, if you really want to do that, for example, you, you can find a more comfortable position to stand or either sit. For example, uh, here is your current, current heading, and uh, you want to change like this. Uh, you just need to put, uh, just need to push this button. This is a track button, and also this is a reset button. And uh, make sure your head is still, and press this button. Enjoy your new comfortable position then. Okay, let me change it back. I'm going to reset it again. Okay. So I must say the new hash track is much, much better than the first generation. It's uh, almost if you don't uh, move very frequently, it's almost uh, reset free. It saves your time and also gives you more FPV enjoyment. Okay, so this is a basic introduction about the head track, uh, about the new 3D FPV goggles from Foxtech. And later there will be more demonstration videos and also flying videos. Please enjoy our later videos. And don't forget, subscribe us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.